June 8th, St. Medard Bishop. St. Medard, one of the most illustrious prelates of the church in France in the 6th century, was born of a pious and noble family at Salency about the year 457. From his childhood, he had the most tender compassion for the poor. On one occasion, he gave his coat to a destitute blind man, and when asked why he had done so, he answered that the misery of a fellow member in Christ so affected him that he could not help giving giving him part of his own clothes. Being promoted to the priesthood in the thirty-third year of his age, he became a bright ornament of that sacred order. He preached the word of God with such an unction which touched the hearts of the most hardened. In the influence of his example, by which he enforced the precepts which he delivered from the pulpit, seemed irresistible. In the year 530, Alomar, the thirteenth bishop of that county, had died. St. Medard was unanimously chosen to fill the sea, and he was consecrated by St. Remigius, who had baptized King Clovis in the year 496. Our saint's new dignity did not make him abate anything of his austerities, and though at the time seventy-two years old, he thought himself obliged to redouble his labors. Though his diocese was very wide, it seemed not to suffice for his zeal, which could not be confined wherever he saw the opportunity of advancing the honor of God and of abolishing the remains of idolatry, he overcame all obstacles, and by his zealous labors and miracles the rays of the gospel dispelled the mists of idolatry throughout the whole extent of his diocese. What rendered this task more difficult and perilous was the savage and fierce disposition of the ancient inhabitants of Flanders who were the most barbarous of all the nations of the Gauls and Franks. Our saint, having completed his great work in Flanders, moved on, and shortly after he fell sick. Soon he rested from his labors at an advanced age in the year 545. The whole kingdom lamented his death as the loss of their common father and protector. His body was buried in his own cathedral, but many miracles wrought at his tomb so moved the king that he translated the precious remains to Soissons. 